species chatter. This is for when I have random things I want to talk about or I don't have a category for it yet. I'll just talk about it here. Today's topic is going to be Hellblade. You have to give up to win this game? I am completely spoiling the ending. I will be showing a clip of the ending and a piece of documentary from after you beat the game uh, discussion the developers have. So there's Spoiler City. So if you don't want spoilers, now's the time to back out. So originally this video was going to be a theory video about Sinua, about her life history that um, caused her to deal with um, some mental health issues. But the developers straight up told me that my theory was right when I watched this clip that they offer after you beat the game. They have a commentary about creating the game and this is a clip I'm going to show. People's lives. She was always prone to psychosis as a child. Her mother Galena also heard voices and had visions, so perhaps there was a genetic aspect. Or perhaps it was cultural as she lived within a world without science, of gods and superstition, as exemplified by her druid father Zimbal. Psychosis developed in her late teens to early twenties and was exasperated by stigma and isolation at the hands of the clansmen and her father. This darkness, it's spreading. The trauma of seeing her lover Dillian sacrifice tips her over the edge, making her remodel her reality around a concept that connects everything. The darkness. So the question, is what Senua experiences real? Can only be answered by saying, yes, it is real. It is her reality. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. So you spend the game knowing that her lover has died and she has his head. And um, her plot is to go to the underworld and bring him back to life to get his soul back. So we get to the final area and these hordes keep attacking me. And I kill and I kill and I kill and they just keep coming at me. And I'm thinking, what am I missing? I've got to be missing a weak spot or something that I'm supposed to be doing. So I actually had to look up like, what you know, what's this weakness? What am I supposed to be doing? And literally the guide says, give up. Let them kill you. And I was like, this goes against everything video games teach us. We are taught to never give up. I mean, I beat Dark Souls and it's you keep pushing forward until you beat it. So how could I be told to give up and just die? So she actually ends up getting back up and she's holding the skull of her lover. And I think this is the side of Sinua who refuses to let go of the hope that she can still rescue him. So the first time I played this game, I was so angry at this part because I didn't understand what was going on. And I was like, we played this whole game as her and she just gets stabbed and she dies? Like what the heck is with this game? But it isn't what it seems to be. I learned the hard way to not be afraid of death, Sarah. Because a life without loss is one without love. You turn your back on death, and all you can see is the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows until all you can see is darkness. When our time comes, we must look death in the eye and embrace it as a friend. from that darkness. So 
So after the the image of her having a discussion with her lover who has passed on, we see the figure reaches out for the skull. Never forget what it is like to see the world as a child, Samuel. Every autumn leaf is like a work of art. Every rolling cloud a moving picture. Every day a new story. We too emerge from this magic, like a wave from the ocean, only to return to the sea. Watch as the figure is able to let go of the head. And then it pans to Senua, and she's back up. And it turns out that Senua had the strength, and she was the one who let go. Do not mourn the waves, the leaves, the clouds. Even in darkness, the wonder and the beauty of this world never leaves us. It is always there, waiting to be seen. So then I realized what Sinua's sacrifice actually was. She gave up the delusion, the fantasy, that she would be able to save her lover, and instead she chose to face reality and to see that there was still beauty in the world, even with her loss. So she faced her grief and is able to move forward with life, and I was like, wow, okay, so this is a good ending. Thanks for watching. Maybe you'll watch more. Maybe the video on the left. Maybe the video on the right. If you're on a mobile device and you don't see any options in the hands, it's in the description.